Hello, good people. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well wherever you are watching us from. And welcome to our channel today. If you are a new member here, you are welcome. And please make sure that you have subscribed. Such that such a good videos do not pass you next time we upload. Today, I want us to talk a very important matter in regard to scholarships that has been asked on my platform. The elephant in the room now is is it worth it taking up a partial scholarship that is the question that i want us to answer in this uh, podcast first and foremost a partial scholarship is a scholarship that is awarded to an individual by a body entity or an institution to pursue a certain path in research education or other studies if they can be cross-sectional they can be permanent or rather they can be not permanent, they can be for a short period of time, like a three months, six months, or one year. But basically, most partial scholarships are those ones that sponsor individuals or students or prospective students to study for their various programs like bachelor's, master's, and postdoctoral plus doctoral studies. Now, a partial scholarship in most institutions caters for tuition fees. Studying abroad can be very daunting and can be very expensive, especially when it comes to paying fees. Tuition fees in those countries are outside, are rather outside developing countries, like in the first world countries. Education is very, very expensive. And without a scholarship, then it becomes very, very much more expensive and it becomes a burden to you and your family. Now, the special scholarship can be awarded in a case whereby tuition is paid but also some partial scholarship also give you medical insurance but they also give you accommodation but the bottom line about partial scholarship is that they give you tuition fees that is guaranteed other things like a tuition like a, sorry like accommodation a subsistence a book allowance uh, and, uh, and other things are not catered so is it worthy giving it a shot that is the question we are asking yes it can be a very good opportunity depending on these reasons depending on the following reasons once again before we proceed i remind you to subscribe check if you have subscribed and if you have not subscribed be a member by touching the bell below or the button on that is on your screen below the red button. The, so the reasons why you may opt to take in a partial scholarship is because of this. One, conditional partial scholarship. A conditional partial scholarship is a scholarship that is given uh, first for you or to you and then subsequently they evaluate you in your performance in your studies so this means that initially you are admitted on a partial scholarship where you are promised or you are given free tuition and then if you are progressing well you are doing well you are doing exemplary well in your studies you are doing well in co-curricular activities or other parameters that they have put out for you then they will advance that scholarship to be full scholarship but then at the beginning to test you they give you a partial one whereby they pay for you fees and then once you have registered you have started your study your studies progressively they will be evaluating you how are you faring on in your studies are you doing well are you able to the task and then they upgrade it for you the second reason why you can opt for a partial scholarship is other opportunities, other embedded opportunities in this scholarship. Remember, you can be given a partial scholarship and also it is attached with some working hours. That is, you are allowed to work once you reach your, your institution. You are given a permanent residence visa or a visa for studying and then they also give you work permit that is they allow you to work for certain period of hours a week and as we know in this first world countries 
jobs are there you cannot fail to get a job and the jobs are so many that the number of people who are looking for these jobs in fact you just walk and do a job you finish here you go to another place and do a job provided that this work does not take much of your time away from studies such so that you balance studies and work and the payment from work is rewarding so it can be something that is a a dream and one of the reasons why you may migrating abroad is by studying you know nowadays getting a, a, a visit visa is very difficult getting a tourist visa is very difficult because they always want a, a, a fat bank account so you can just proceed by a partial scholarship you get your institution you register you start you start studying and you embark on doing part-time jobs as you study so after you have finished your studies then you can look for a job in that country you see some of these openings are not strictly that you after studies you are going back home no because we have said that these countries need a high labor manpower that is skilled you will opt to stay there after you and it becomes actually a good opportunity for you and the best opportunity for other companies that are recruiting employees because they will not get that extra levy to get people to go to their country so you finish your studies you graduate and then they give you a job and after giving you a job you can proceed to be a permanent resident there and then uh, another aspect of partial scholarship why you may opt to take a partial scholarship is because of talent a partial scholarship can be given because of the inherent talent that is in you let's say you are good in athletics then a certain university gives a partial scholarship for you that is a very good opportunity don't look back as we all know that athletics or sports is very rewarding in these first world countries in fact they appreciate talents more than academics so if you come here as a partial scholar and then they just uh, see a talent in you uh, you they nurture that talent and they give you a citizenship that is after studies or during your studying they give you a citizenship so that you can participate in competitions in on behalf of those institutions and their countries we have seen so many people migrate abroad because of these talents so that is another way if you have not uh, uh, reached the climax of your talent remember those who have been able or have been lucky to be absorbed are those who have reached the climax of their talents let's say the gold medal winners in olympics the gold medal winners in various sports or in various competencies but if you have not reached in that state, you are still nurturing your talent. They will nurture it. And if they see the potential in you, then they give you that citizenship opportunity to participate on behalf of their institutions and their countries. So this can be very, very rewarding. So don't pass by partial scholarships. Just look at those uh, scholarships, the terms and the conditions, and what else are there that is impeded in them thank you for watching this uh, video and please recommend it to others by sharing and subscribe to this channel and i'll always be there for you bye for now see you next time as we talk about this very very important issues in regard to global scholarship and studying abroad and migrating abroad thank you so much See you next time in our video. Bye-bye.